Your preparations for trial can be distilled down into three key roles. The first role is that of investigator, in which you study the case, seek out additional facts, and perform necessary tasks. Your second role is that of teacher. Since the facts are specific to your field of expertise, you have the responsibility to educate the jurors in non-technical ways about what those possibly technical facts mean. And finally, your third role is that of analyst. The opinions you present represent your analysis of the technical facts about the issues in the case. This aims to establish your credibility and persuade the jury to your point of view. You follow proper methodologies to obtain technical information. Then you explain the technical results. And finally, you persuade the jury that your results and opinions are the most logical and ultimately believable. In this lesson, I discussed the various parts of your role in court during your testimony, from capturing to keeping the jurors or judges' attention. I explained the main phases of trial testimony and gave general guidelines for answering questions. I offered several ways to connect positively with the jury, to explain assumptions, and to create and use demonstrative exhibits. Finally, I covered issues important for maintaining your professional conduct in the courthouse when you are not testifying.